In my little valley, wildflower season is upon us, and the hillsides are swathed in white and gold and blue. I had a day off from work, so I took an audiobook out to the meadow next to my home and listened to fairy tales while putting flowers in my hair and imagining far-off kingdoms and castles. I got quite caught up in my daydreams and found that in no time at all it was noon and time to get ready for a dinner with my family that evening. I don't get to enjoy a lazy day too often, but it makes it that much more special when it comes around. I just had to take a moment to stop and appreciate the wildflowers right now. It is so abundant and I feel like this is the gift that we get for waiting out the winter. You know, the winter was so long this year and to get such incredible beauty and abundance in return of the, that long cold wait <laughs> is so beautiful and I just couldn't be happier right now. In this video, I wanted to share a dream I had as a young college student. I wanted to be a successful scholar and spend days writing endless essays in the dusty corner of a respected university. I ended up achieving a version of that dream. I got a scholarship and was encouraged to enter a master's and PhD program from a professor I greatly admired. I could see a future career in my mind's eye, but something changed. I realized that the academic pressure I was putting on myself was masking a deep lack of fulfillment. I was pursuing this degree simply because I was good at it, never stopping to ask myself if I actually enjoyed it. I concluded I had simply gotten it wrong. I needed a new dream to work towards, a goal. So my goal became being an editor for a magazine and a bookseller. These dreams seemed a lot more reasonable, and soon I was working for three different magazines, running a school publication, and later worked at a bookstore full-time. Even though I had once again achieved my dreams, I was still struggling to feel at peace. Perhaps what I was missing was a good relationship or more friends, the perfect place to live. Maybe I needed a new dream altogether. Perhaps if I just had everything lined up in life just so, things would be different. There was something much deeper that was off, something that was following me everywhere. It took a long time to admit to myself that I was searching for peace and achievements, when instead I needed to love and accept myself as a soul and nothing else. My achievements could only be a temporary band-aid over my wounds, and that was just it. I was carrying my hurts and pains and worries everywhere I went, and I had to heal those things first if I was ever going to find a renewed zest for life. So, I moved to a small town, started working at a local school, selling my art at farmer's markets, and even started this channel. It wasn't my dream, but I decided that my new dream was to heal and to find that sense of achievement within myself. No degrees, relationships, or impressive resumes needed. Simply trying to be kinder, sitting with myself, 
growing a feeling that is somewhere between fleeting joy and sadness, a sort of quiet peace and contentment with who I am. I've now achieved a lot of dreams I never thought I could. I can now enjoy them fully, knowing that they aren't the reason I'm happy. I don't need to make videos to make me happy. I don't even need to be able to run through a field of wildflowers or spend evenings painting to find peace and joy. My legs could stop working and my eyesight could fail me. And that's why there's something much deeper that needs to guide me. My abilities or accomplishments don't make up the core of what makes my light shine. And I hope the same for you, that you can find a source of your inner light that is not rooted in anything physical of this world, not even your physical self. It's something far deeper and perhaps harder to understand, but once you're open to it, absolute magic. I find this light source and what exactly it is to be a bit different for everyone, but you'll know it once you find it, like a kindred spirit coming into your life, familiar and true, like coming home. After many years of looking for happiness and things that are impermanent and unpredictable. We are working on fixing some things in this room and there is a ladder set up and my cat is just dedicated to going up and down the ladder again and again and again. And um, she's, she's very noisy. Mavi, stop it, my goodness. It is so hard to film sometimes. As you can probably tell, I have fallen in love with this dress, the version that is in red, I really, really love as well. You saw me wearing it at the beginning of this video. I, as I promised a couple of videos ago, I wanted to find some more sustainable clothing options to share with you that are similar to the style I often wear. As I wear a lot of secondhand, you know, clothing from brands I wouldn't normally support, I did want to share with you a brand I would actually support and one that I hope to in the future invest in um, several dresses to wear for years and years to come. The brand is called Sondeflor. I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. Um, but yes, it's made of a sustainable linen and it, it's just beautiful, beautiful designs. And I've really enjoyed these two that I've been wearing. And so I will leave a link down below to it if you are interested at all. The topic of this video, you know, is one I've touched on before, but I did want to share how my dreams and my goals for the future have changed so drastically over the years, you know, and how I have achieved a lot of goals I have and how every time um, it has, especially when I was younger, surprised me that the uh, feeling of gratification of achieving that goal was so fleeting, you know, I, I was not able to create that lasting sense of being proud of myself and who I am, um, because I think I was trying to connect that pride in who I am to accomplishments. Um, and that just wasn't a sustainable source for me in terms of appreciating myself and valuing who I am. I really had to learn how to value myself as a human being, you know, without any accomplishments, by, by just 
being who I am and trying to be a little bit better than I was the day before. And, and that has had much more lasting impact when you embrace that journey of trying to be a better person, maybe connecting with your spirituality or any form of that that you know works for you. It is transformative because it makes you realize that there is no such thing as a truly ordinary life. It doesn't matter what you've accomplished or what you look like or, or you know what your life looks like to other people. It's about who you are and who you might be trying to be and become. And a big part of that for me is connecting more to my spirit and how I can connect with other people through that awareness that we are all here together and we're all interconnected. Of course, there were things about my goals and situations in the past that made it really hard to find that sense of peace and fulfillment. I remember at one point I was living in an apartment that was not legally rented out to me and it was infested with rats. I had uh, some roommates that were fighting all the time and screaming at each other and it was such a uh, difficult environment to find a sense of peace and I definitely had to work towards finding a way to move past that phase of my life and find a new place to live. And of course, it was much easier to find that sense of fulfillment once I was able to leave that situation because it was affecting me so much. But I know that facing challenges in the future, I see now how important it is to stay positive and hopeful you will develop such an incredible strength that it doesn't matter what life throws at you, you're gonna be able to find a way to get through it, particularly when you're not 100% reliant on external things to find that sense of peace. Sometimes it will be really hard to find that source of light, especially when you are going through a really difficult time, but I like to think that's when it's just as important. And I know for sure it is in those dark times that we're often most ready to change and develop who we are and to make big decisions. And even just within that, there's always something we can gain from those difficult times. At least that has been my experience so far. I have memories that I've just wanted to erase from my mind for so long getting to a place where I can accept them and start to try to see things that I gained from working through experiences like that and appreciating those and that all those things make up who I am. And I hope you as well can go to this week feeling a little deeper sense of appreciation for who you are and how far you've come. I hope you share with me below your own stories and your words of encouragement to each other. It is always so inspiring. I'm sending you much, much love and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.